Today we're going to be making a rank GUI in Roblox. Now this is similar to our uh, our last tutorial we made on the name tag GUI. So if you have like a cafe or a home store or something like that, something that corresponds to a group, right? And you want to add like some uh, like group ranks in it. And you, let's say you want like a surface GUI or not surface GUI, sorry, a billboard GUI. So like a name tag on the player that shows their rank or maybe even like the leader stats. I'll be showing you how to do that. So first thing first, let's get a let's get our dummy, our handy trusty dummy right here. Okay, this is our dummy. Uh, this is so we can test how it looks. The billboard GUI. I go to their head right here, as you can see. I go and search up billboard GUI. Insert it here. You press this plus button, by the way. This is how you insert it. And then you have this billboard GUI. Let's insert a text label. Okay, text label. This. All right, go to the billboard UI. Okay. Uh, select always on top. Make the studs offset a bit higher. So on the y axis, zero to zero. Let's see. Okay. Actually, ah, uh, who cares? I think this is good enough. Let's go to the text label. Uh, make this scale to uh, zero. Hold a second. This should be okay. One. 0, 0 0.5. Let's make this whole second. This is too. Okay. Go to the billboard UI. Make this scaled. Um, make this like uh, 5 and 3. 5, 0, 3, 0. Okay. Alright. I think I made this a bit too. Actually, I think this is good enough. So we're gonna have two texts, one right here, which would uh, which would be the name, and we're gonna have one right under it, which would be the rank GUI. Okay. Okay. Now let's uh, make changes to the text. Let's change the background transparency. Then we'll do the font. Uh, let's first text scaled. Then a let's make a different one this time. Let's do luckiest guy. Yeah, I like this. Okay. And check stroke transparency. So this will be our name. Let's name this to name. And then we'll duplicate this and we'll make the we'll change the position so it's right under the name and let's make it a bit smaller. So this would be 0, 0, 0. 0.5 okay and make this smaller so let's make it like 0 0.3 on the y-axis and 0 0.75 maybe okay and change the anchor point to 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay then we'll, okay yeah, yeah that kind of messed it up um let's change the position again 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay and make it a little maybe you want to make it yeah go down a bit like this okay so this will be our rank GUI and this will be our name okay this will be our rank actually let's make it more smaller let's make it more smaller so 0 0.6 0 point 0 0.2 okay yeah good enough let's maybe adjust this a bit okay it's good enough I'd say you know it's good enough it's good enough okay so now we have both of these. Let's name this to name or something. I don't know. Uh, overhead. Let's name this overhead. Okay. Cut this. And then we can put this in the server storage. Put this in the server storage. Okay. So now we have this. You can now script it so it appears on when a, it appears uh, on a player when they join the game. We're gonna do that in a starter character script. So starter player, starter character script, insert a script, a server script. Okay, insert a server, oops, what the hell? Yeah, that one, sorry. I don't know why it's doing that. What the hell, that's weird. Okay. Now we're gonna do it uh, since, I mean, you can also do this on a server script service inside this uh, service. But for me, I prefer to do it in uh, character scripts since that is, I feel like it's more efficient or works uh, more thoroughly. Okay, we'll do local car, local car equals script.parent because, okay, script.parent. 
since this script will be inside the character of the player when they join the game, if that makes sense. Okay, so now we have that. We'll make a variable for our, for our, okay, sorry, I can't, I can't type. Uh, for our overhead GUI, of course. Overhead equal game dot server storage dot overhead. Okay, overhead clone dot parent equals car dot head. So what this does, it will, uh, what this does, it will clone our overhead GUI and we'll put it inside the head of our character or uh, the player that joined the game, they'll have their overhead uh, cloned uh, inside their head. Okay. And the, okay, hold a second. Let's actually make a variable. Let's redo this. So local overhead clone equals overhead game dot server source dot overhead dot clone. Okay, let's actually redo this entirely because this is not very efficient. Okay, overhead clone dot parent equal, uh, and then actually let's make another variable for the head, local head equal car dot head. And we'll do just head. Oops, what the hell? I said head. Okay, that's weird. Head. Yeah, head. And we'll also do overhead clone dot a door knee equals head. I don't know, I just put it like that. I'm not exactly sure what this does, but let's do it anyways. And then we're going to change the text labels of that overhead GUI. So the name will be the name of the character or the player. Same thing. Overhead clone dot name equals car dot name. So the username of the player. Same thing. Same name as the uh, the character or car as we say. And uh, we'll also do uh, car dot humanoid dot display distance type. That's correct equals none. So the default name tag, the default Roblox name tag uh, won't appear because you don't want uh, that, you know, mixing in each other or whatever. Okay, now we're done the name. How do we add the rank? So what we're going to do is gonna we're going to loop through all the players in the game. Right. And if the player has the same name as their character, which is the same uh, guy or not same guy, <laughs> uh, the same player as uh, the one that has a character, we're going to get their rank in whatever group you want, you want it to be. So, for example, if you want, uh, oh, we still need to do, have a group uh, group ID uh, variable. So let's hold some, let's get a group right now. Hold a minute. OK, we're going to get a group real quick. So I'm going on my group right here. I'm going to get the ID. Okay. And let's go back to studio. Let's make a variable for our group ID. Local local group equal and then equals to the group ID. Or I can just rename this to group ID. It uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Let's loop all, through all the players. We're going to do for I player in pairs. Uh, game dot players uh, get children get children so it puts all the players into a table and we're gonna loop through them all right so if player that name equal car dot name so if the character of this character is the same uh, character as the player that has the character if that makes any sense then we're gonna add their rank we're gonna add the rank from the group so player, and we're going to use a function called get uh, group rank from, I forgot what it's called actually, get, uh, hold a minute, hold a minute, I think I might need to go to the object browser real quick, sorry for that, hold a minute, uh, object browser, object browser, let's see, uh, player, okay, this is weird, player dot get, Group rank, group rank is sync. Hold on, 
BRB, BRB. Hold on, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to search this up. Roblox Studio. Roblox Studio. Get. Group role. Okay, I think. Uh, get group. Uh, get role in group. Sorry. Sorry for that. Uh, anyways, back to the script. Player. Get role in group. Make sure you actually type this correctly, by the way. So don't make any typos. And we're going to do. We're going to insert group inside this parameter which is the group ID that we have. Of course, this is the ID that uh, this ID you want for your own group. All right. So we have this. Actually, um, okay, let's put store this in a variable. Local rank equals this. And this will be, by the way, this will be, oops, I spelled it wrong. This will be our string value that we'll put inside the rank, GUI, or rank text. So we'll do overhead clone dot rank which is the rank text we have right here and this dot text equals rank so the text uh, so this text right here the rank text will be equal to whatever rank they are in this group so if they're a guest they're a guest if they're an owner they're owner so I think this should work let's try to test this out uh, hold a minute hold a minute okay sorry hold a second uh, nope name that text sorry sorry uh, that's a mistake so overhead clone dot name dot text to so text not just the text label itself but the text you want to uh, manipulate that property and that will be changed to whatever the name of the character or whatever name of the player uh, it's the same as the username so let's test this out probably be probably an error honestly let's hold a second let's go open our output okay so it works Boom! First try. So this uh this is my name, right? And this is my rank in my own group. Pretty cool, right? So let's get a let's get a nice thumbnail right here. Let's get a nice thumbnail. Oh, and I also forgot. Uh, if you even want to do a, like a leader stats thingy, where all your ranks will appear on the leader stats on the player list, or uh, as it's called, also, uh, we're gonna do this time. We're gonna do a, a server script under server script service right here we make the script and then we do a player added event so game dot players dot player added connect to connect to a function all right and inside these two brackets we're going to do player all right and this will be the player that joined the game so local we're going to add a leader stats folder so leader stats equals instance dot new folder oops folder so this we we're gonna need to make a folder this is a folder okay and leader stats that name name equals leader stats God, I don't know why I'm <laughs> okay yeah leader stats make sure you actually name this leader stats by the way otherwise it won't work okay and leader stats dot parent equal player so the player that joined the game will be located under the player so leader stats uh hold a second yeah, yeah okay now we've made a leader stats we're gonna do a make another value which is string value by the way so we're gonna make instant new uh string value so local and this will be our rank local uh rank equal instant new and then this is a string value. We're going to make a string value. And this will be under our leader stats. Local, okay, no, no, sorry. Rank, that value. And we're going to do the same thing, get uh, get rolling group. Uh, we're going to do the same function. So player, get, get roll in. Okay, I can't, uh, all right, hold on. Nope. Yeah, bad typing skills. And we're gonna insert the same. Hold on, what? Yeah, this is the same. Uh, this is the group ID, by the way. You want you want to insert your group ID here? All right. So we have this, and then we're gonna parent this to the leader stats. Rank dot parent equal leader stats. So what we've we done here: when a player joins the game, this will be added. The leader stats will be added to their uh, thing, or in, uh, inside the player. Which is, by the way, the leader stats is like the leader stats. I mean, the leader stats, uh, they appear in the player list, as you can see. Okay. 
and the rank will be their rank in the group. And your group ID should be put inside this these two brackets or in, in this parameter. So let's test this out. Let's test this out. Let's see if this works. Oh, hold on. Uh, did I actually do the same mistake? Uh, hold a minute. Oops, okay. I think I did a stupid mistake today. Leader stats, sorry. Leader leader stats without an E. It's spelled like this. Oh, what the hell? No, sorry. Bad mistake. Leader stat. I spelled that wrong. Okay. Let's just uh oh. Okay. This and uh, my value is right here. Oh wait, how is it? Uh yeah, just change the name. Let's change the name. Real quick, let's change the name. Okay. That name, name equals uh, rank. Okay. And this will be our group rank shown in the player list. All right, it's pretty simple. If you enjoyed this video, or if you found this helpful, I sh <laughs> if you found this video helpful, I should say, uh, you should probably like the video and subscribe, and tell me what I should make next, down in the comments. Right. Any anyways. We're going to see you in the next one. <laughs>